Hey, how's it going, my beautiful people? So I just uh, recently was uploading on TikTok, and I saw this video of uh, this person, this this woman. She was left like in, in like in front of like a like a dance club or something like that, or a drinking club. I don't know. And she was literally falling asleep, like like she was asleep, and she was sitting on the chair. And and you know this guy, this guy helped her. You know she was like, I mean she was just knocked out. You know she just couldn't like wake up. She couldn't get up. So she ended up calling security just to get her to help. And and they said that they were that she was sitting there for forty minutes. Man, sometimes you gotta choose your friends wisely. You know, um, cause. I'm just like, you know, I've been around people that, that talk smack about each other. And, and I don't notice this. And, and the fact that I will still be around them would show what type of person I was at that time. You know, it wasn't until I was just like, you know, I, I knew that people would talk smack behind my back, you know, just because that's that's something that people love to do. I'm just like, like, do you really not got nothing else to do? But that's fine, you know. It, 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 like you know, like obviously, if they're talking about you, it's because you got something going on that they that they don't that they admire, but they don't want to tell you about it. And I say it's because sometimes you gotta watch out for your friends and choose your friends wisely. You know, I know I, I'm successful. I, I I go hard for what I go for, and and that's the fact. Like you know, that's the fact. Well, you know, like I was, you know, I'll be precisely on on, on the friends that I'll, I'll pick up on. Sometimes I will do good on my on my success. I'll bring it up just to kind of like talk to them about it, you know, because they're friends, you know, right? Your friends supposed supposed to um, support each other. And instead, they'll switch up the conversation and they'll talk about something else. And I'm just like, all right, obviously, you know, my success hurts this person. And, and you know, you know, there are some times that I would I would be drinking and stuff and I don't drink no more. I've been sober for like a year or, or, or longer. I don't really like to drink no more. And I'll just have people, I'll just be with like people that would just be knocked out and they'll be talking smack about each other. Like, oh, this, I'm just like, you know, I stopped hanging out with them. You know, it is on some, it was on a serious note. I was just like, I knew that, I knew what type of people they were. It's just the fact that I was still hanging around with them. It was a fact that I had to learn about that and be able to be okay with myself and just be able to love myself better not to be around people like that and and strive for better for myself and try to look for better people that i could actually evolve and learn from and i could teach them and they could teach me on a daily basis and not that negative things so sometimes watch out for your friends if they're fake and you're doing something good just go and find better i had to, i had to be around the fakest people at times just so i could be real man that's a real quote right there quote me on that man if y'all think about it you know some of the most realest people in this world had to go through some fake ass stuff you know and 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 the reason that they are the way they are is because they had to go through so many fake obstacles and so many fake things in their life that it showed them knowledge you know not everybody that i met was fake you know it's just more like i'm a good genuine person i ain't the one to talk bad about you you could have nothing or you could have everything i ain't gonna judge you know i ain't gonna judge i ain't gonna judge the way you look i ain't gonna judge nothing like that you know you know um and that right there is just to show you how real i am you know in that in that term and in that way why because you know y'all need to understand sometimes you know this fake friends are gonna be the people that are gonna hold you back from prospering in a better way and I say because sometimes I would waste my time on them, you know, I will just be out and about really not doing much. And it's not until I was able to cut them off and just do my own thing, focus on myself was was whenever I was seeing progress within myself. And I started um, doing these businesses, doing um, networking, social marketing and all that great stuff. And, and you know, it, I had to learn through that, you know, I had to learn is it, it rather I would be with these fake people, you know, that they're not gonna really do much for me in my life or help me out. Or would I just be on my own and just work on myself? And when the time is right, I'll, I'll meet the right connections with networking and stuff. You know, my anxiety, my antisocial <laughs> skills um, have been better. It's not the reason that I'm antisocial. It's just more like, 
I don't know. I don't know. There's something wrong with me on that part. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it's something that I've always been working. You know, I, I do promos for jobs and stuff. And I'm really good communicating with people. And that's how I'm able to understand them and just be able to see their point of view and just learn from that, you know. And, you know, that's just something that I don't even know what this topic is going on. I just switched up so many topics. But what I'm trying to tell you is that, is that, you know, sometimes you just got to watch, watch your back and see who's around you. If they're really going to build up to your empire, if that's what you're going for. Or if you're trying to work on your social uh, networking skills, or even if you got talents that they might not admire, like, you know, they might be the reason why they're holding you back and stuff. And, you know, that that, that sucks, you know, because jealousy is, is just something that's just so easily to come across. Like, like, you don't even know how hard I work. You don't even know the things that I do, like to get improving on. And, and that a lot of people want. Well, I wanted to talk about this topic for today is just because you know, y'all need to understand that whenever you um, have your real genuine friends around you, they're able to get the best out of you in the best way, you know, um, give you that motivation, that that um, security that you need to learn and to grow, you know, because I've always met. I came across a lot of amazing people like that. And, you know, I didn't I didn't get the best of them and I didn't get the best of me, you know, just because, um, you know, it was just something that I had to work with, you know, um, <laughs> Like, I, I've just been in this phase that, that I always keep to myself. And, you know, I'm trying to, like, outgrow it and, and be better at it, you know, um, just because of, like, certain things to be able to work better for my networking skills and my social skills and social media and all that great stuff. Because I know I'm not the only person that feels like this at times, you know. Sometimes you just want that support and, 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 and that help that you need from other people. But sometimes you got to give it to yourself. And whenever people see um, your value, you start being able to connect with people like that. And just to be able to learn from it and grow from that. And now you, you came from having fake friends to not having real genuine friends that are teaching you and helping you and you're, and you're helping each other. And, and that's why I want to talk about this topic, you know, that way, if you feel like you got nobody in your corner, well, guess what? You got yourself and the man above Jesus Christ, you know, um, a lot of times when I was, I felt lonely and stuff, you know, I'll just, you know, I'll just have conversations with Jesus Christ. I'm like, man, like, you know, you know, about like, you know, I don't know. I just talk like that. Well, not a lot, but you know, I just have it like in my presence, always to know, you know, my family is always doing their own thing and I'm always doing my own thing as well. So whenever we try to connect, eh, you know, I'm always busy, you know, I'm always trying to do this for them. You know, um, I try to work my my most so I could be able to um, help them and um, teach them, you know, certain things like this. And, you know, for my future generation of, of kids and and um, and for my, you know, my nieces and my nephews, you know, um, you know, to have something to be able to be inspired by or just be able to have those connections in that in that manner, in that great way. And that's why, you know, sometimes, you know, knowing who's around you is really going to be beneficial or not. You know, that's all on you. You know, you're you're the one that decides, you know, who you hang around with. I'm not going to be like, hey, don't hang out with them. You know, I, I can't force you not to hang out with certain people. That's all on you just to know what are your goal missions? What are your things that you're trying to acquire and require in your life? And I'm just here to spread some some good messages on that topic. You know, um, I always if you have nobody on your corner, be your best friend, be your own person that is going to help you evolve to the best version of yourself. Good luck and take care.